Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another video over here on Paladins. But today it's going to be more focused towards the beginners of the game and the people just now starting to get into it. Now, first of all, I hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel. I apologize for not having a video up in a week or so. Uh, I've just got a new PC and I've been busy setting it up, getting all my OBS settings together, all that kind of crazy stuff. But we should be back to a more consistent schedule again and videos should be coming out more often. So you're probably new to this game if you're watching this video and you're probably wondering going into your games, why the heck is it telling me to buy stuff? And why is it a massive menu of a bunch of different colored tiles popping up? So basically all of these tiles are perks or items, whichever you prefer to call them. And they give you buff in the round that help you and your team get closer to a victory or just aid in doing damage or reducing the effects of some of the other enemies abilities now in each round you can buy four perks i will break down the slots and how they should be properly used most people just go in and just spam a bunch of random perks and don't really consider what order they should be buying them in or how they should be buying. The first slot that you have, you should always be communicating with your team and using this as a uh, an essential perk. So some of the essential perks that I would say are the offensive ones, such as Cauterize, Wrecker, Deft Hands, and Bulldozer, uh, as well as some of the healing perks for front lines like Rejuvenate. So at the start of the game, if the enemy team has a healer, you should be popping Cauterize right off the bat if you are a flank um, or a damage. This is very important to your teammates being able to reduce the effects of their healing depending on which level you have this at so if you buy it right off the bat you're going to have it at 25 percent for 1.5 seconds basically what this means you're going to be reducing the effects of their healing by 25 percent for 1.5 seconds so if a genos say hypothetically does a hundred healing and you shoot them with one of your shots they will only be getting 75 healing uh over a 1.5 second duration all the way up to Tier three on the second perk we have here it is wrecker this is your weapon attacks deal 20 percent increased damage to shields pretty self-explanatory if the enemy is running shields from like ash barrack torvald or ruckus those kind of champions your shots will be doing increased damage to them so if you notice that the enemy team has a lot of field bearing champions go ahead and buy this perk if you have a high rate of fire weapon be helping out your team a ton and they will love you because you're going to be constantly uh, bringing those shields down uh next we have deft hand perk is increase your reload speed by 20 percent also very self-explanatory you have a high rate of fire weapon uh, and you're constantly running out of ammo uh champions like tyra victor koga guy this will help you a ton some of the champions uh, if you get this perk to tier three it doesn't even feel like you're reloading at all it's so quick uh, i do not recommend really running this one as a first perk right away not really essential uh, but those first two definitely uh, this last perk over here on offense we have bulldozer tier one is your weapon shots deal 20 percent increased damage to deployables pets and illusions and this goes from 20 percent to 40 percent and 60 percent uh now you're probably looking at this card super confused like what the heck is a deployable a pet and illusion i will go through that real quick a deployable is things such as barracks turrets uh, those can be very aggravating during fights for your front line so you can go ahead and get this perk uh, right off the bat if you know that the enemy team has a barrack or like an anara with their stone that they put down and destroy those deployables much much faster for them the second thing is pets uh if you have ever seen io play she has a pet it is luna and luna can sit on the point and act as a player and bring that percentage of the capture up or she can dish out healing to her teammates as well so getting luna out very 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 good for your team uh and it'll aid you a ton capturing that midpoint and reducing that healing on top of cauterize as well for their team illusions are things such as one of ying's abilities you'll see her dotting them around the map she can teleport to them and those will heal her teammates as well so you're going to be doing increased damage to those utility and healing are going to be used for these next two slots i highly recommend after you get one or two points in that first essential perk you go ahead and use these other two slots and build them up with utility or healing on the first perk here we have life rip your weapon shots game for 10 percent life steal life steal is uh kind of complicated at first but it's pretty simple when you break it down say you do a hundred damage to an enemy per bullet uh, with 10 percent life steal on you're going to be getting 10 percent of that damage you did back so if you do like i said a hundred damage to an enemy with a bullet 
you'll be getting 10 of that health back towards your health to heal you. And that goes all the way up from 10% to 20% in tier two and tier three has 30%. Next we have kill to heal. Getting a kill or elimination heals you for 300, 600, and 900 all the way up through tier one, two, and three. This perk, obviously very self-explanatory as well. Every single kill or elimination you get, you're gonna be getting health back for it. I highly recommend this if you're popping off with the kills with a flank or a damage character. I uh, use this like crazy. Sometimes healers use this as well, such as Genos, because they're the ones doing all the healing, but they're not really getting anything back in return, so they have to. On the third perk here, Veteran, I really do not recommend using this perk. I don't really ever see anybody use it. Kind of a dud perk. I feel like they should remove it from the game. But hey, if you feel yourself always disengaging from fights, go ahead and use this one. It's for you, I guess. Uh, it is heal for an additional 5% of your max health every second when out of combat. And this goes from 5% to 10% to 15%. If you find yourself constantly disengaging and letting that little bar below your health bar go down, letting yourself heal naturally, uh, you'll be gaining an extra little bit amount of health. Okay, going on to the last healing perk, very, very important for front lines over here. It is called Rejuvenate and it is received 5% more healing from other players. And this goes from 5% to 10% to 15% you will be gaining an additional amount of healing from your teammates that are doing healing to you. So hypothetically speaking, say Genos does uh, 100 health of healing to you, you will gain 5% more health, so you'll gain an extra five health over that. And if you have this maxed out to tier three, you'll be getting an extra 15 health every 100 health healed to you. Um, may not seem like a lot at first, but in the first round, you can buy this to tier two right away. So it's essentially an extra 10% of healing for free. As a frontline, I highly recommend you use this uh, because you are designed to hold down that, that midpoint. So getting the most amount of healing that you can is super, super important. All right, moving on to the third line of perks, we have utility. Chronos, morale boost, master riding, and nimble. Chronos is reduced the cooldown of all your abilities by 10%. Uh, this is self-explanatory as well. Uh, so your abilities in the bottom, you'll see that they have cooldown timers. Every tier that you bring this up, it will reduce it by that specific percentage amount. Say that uh, your cooldown time originally is 10 seconds on an ability. If you have this maxed out to tier three, it will go down to seven seconds to do it, reducing the cooldown by 30%. Uh, this is very important for healers. I highly recommend running Kronos, or if you feel your abilities are helping you win the game and they're very essential to your team, Something such as Tyra's Flask. If you don't want to have to waste your credits on Kronos, go ahead and use my best card loadout for Tyra. You'll never have to wait for that cooldown to get your uh, flask back as fast as possible. On the next perk here, we have Morale Boost. It has increased your ultimate charge by 10%, 20%, and 30%. This perk is very, very cool because it'll allow you to reduce that uh, ultimate charge by a specific percentage amount. So instead of having to charge all to 100%, you have this maxed out to tier three, you'll only have to charge 70%. This is very good for champions such as Amani. Uh, that dragon can demolish the enemy team on the midpoint and it's very overpowered. So go ahead and run this as one of the second or third perks you pick. Next, we have Master Riding. This is a good perk. I don't really find it essential. Mount speed by 15%, 30%, and 45%. You're not really gonna need to move quickly with your mount all that much maybe in the beginning some of the front lines might buy this to get that little bit of extra percentage over the enemy team on the midpoint right away and i don't really think it's worth spending the credits on this perk in the game where you could be directing it towards other things the last perk in utility we have is nimble so this perk will give you an increased movement speed of seven percent fourteen percent and twenty one percent you may not think that movement speed is very important in a game like this, but it is very, very good. Um, I did not believe I needed it with Tyra at the beginning, but as I started using it, uh, it became a definite perk that I'm always buying right after Cauterize in the second perk slot, especially for champions such as Flanks. Their movement speed tends to be a little bit slow right away, unless you're running the right deck for them. Uh, you can get a little bit of a boost, but being able to throw even more on top of it is very very good on the next line of perks we have defense uh this is very very good and these can be thrown around in any of the slots depending on how the enemy teams are set up haven we have a reduce the damage you take from direct attacks by seven percent fourteen percent and twenty one percent now not to confuse direct attacks with area of effect attacks uh direct attacks are exactly what they say they are attacks that directly hit you 
Uh, so things from Tyra, Vivian, champions such as those. It's just basically a damage reduction. So front lines, this may work for you because a lot of the damage is being focused towards you at the start of the game and throughout the game. So being able to aid yourself in uh, reducing some of that, uh, reducing some of that damage coming towards you is very, very helpful. Next, we have a blast shield. Reduce the damage you take from an area of effect attack by 7%, 14 and 21%. Area of effect attacks are obviously attacks that deal damage in an area. It goes mainly towards champions such as Rogos, Bomb King. Rogos's uh, main weapon attack, you see it has a ton of splash damage when it hits the ground. So this will help reduce that damage. And then things such as Bomb King's bombs. There's a ton of them and they're constantly doing a large amount of damage in a large area. So reducing that damage as well will help you. And for the second to last perk, we have Resilience. This is a very, very important perk you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to, is reduce the duration and effectiveness of crowd control and slows by 20%, 40%, and 60%. So this is gonna be mainly focused towards things like Khan Stun when he throws you over his shoulder, Genos' pickup that he can do on you, and like Buck Shotgun Cage that he can shoot to slow you down. It'll reduce the effectiveness of these by a ton considering the large percentages. And if you're getting really, really annoyed of an enemy constantly stunning you or slowing you down, go ahead and whip on this uh, this defense perk and it'll help you out a lot. And for the last perk, we have Illuminate. This perk is very, very essential. It has increased the range at which you see nearby stealth targets by 15 units, 30 units, and 45 units. Uh, it's good for going against champions such as Sky, Strix, uh, Ceres. Usually when Sky or Strix or Ceres go invisible, you're not able to see them at all, but this perk will allow you to see them a little bit more clearly. You're not gonna fully see them as if they weren't invisible, but it'll highlight them a little bit more when you get closer to them in those close quarter fights. Uh, to end off this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my main perks that I generally throw on champions right as soon as I start using them. Uh, very basic, I go ahead right away and whip on some cauterize. Then I go ahead and buy nimble. Then I bounce between life rip or kill to heal in that third slot. And for my last slot, I always bounce around and base that last perk off of the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are constantly trying to grow this channel as much as possible. But if you enjoyed, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah.